and swami said it is your prapti but use your prapti to develop your bhakti after i joined in 1995 the swami goes one step ahead in teaching right as you go ahead so the first interaction happened somewhere in august or i think july of 95 when i joined and uh, swami was going in the darshan hall he had gone behind where the presently the rama statue is there some work was going on and he was coming back and i was sitting on the path and as i he, as he came near me he asked me a question kidhar se aaya where 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 did you come from the actual word swami used was where did you come from and the natural reply i gave was mumbai swami swami just heard didn't say anything went away that was the first ever interaction of mine with bhagwan as a student this was in july or august of 95 in december of 95 i got another golden opportunity to come closer to bhagwan is when there was a international medical conference organized in prashanti nilaya and swami was selecting students to serve the delegates who would come and one day it happened during darshan when he sent warden to select student so the, the warden selected a student who was sitting right next to me and uh, those days the term which was typically used was the form boys and typically he had picked up about seven or eight form boys whom swami would speak to often and call them to interview room he picked up this boy who was sitting next to me he was one year senior to me he went ahead and the warden looked at me and said come and asked me to go and i went and i realized I, even i have to go to interview room i thought it was prasadam distribution but actually it was going to interview room and i had no clue what was it for so as i entered i realized that it was for preparation for the international medical conference and uh, swami was selecting students to serve the delegates <clears throat> and when swami saw me in that interview room his first reaction was who is this boy because in that whole group probably i was the newest sort of physically not known to bhagwan so he who is this boy he swami asked and before we could reply somebody came and swami spoke something else and the session continued then we sat near bhagwan and swami started talking to us and this was the group which was selected by bhagwan and again this group had lot of chances those days uh, as bhagwan would do it uh, and i realized swami gives chances to sir in a way to shower his grace in fact one of my classmates asked this question to bhagwan when he got a chance of a interview to with swami he asked bhagwan swami is this my prapti or my bhakti and swami said it is your prapti but use your prapti to develop your bhakti so it was indeed swami's grace that he used to call us on some pretext of a seva but he used to spend lot of time we had sort of a sort of a declared holiday for about 12 of us every day morning and evening we will go to mandir swami will call us tell us the work to be done and talk to us and give lot of uh, attention and uh, advice and one such interaction when swami asked me my name i was sitting very close to him and swami looked at me and said what is your name and i said swami neeraj and swami said swami rhymed sai neeraj dal nayana in the same swami rhymed this line and said neeraj dal nayana swami ka eyes bahut beautiful hai aisa devotees bolta hai this was the exact word swami said swami ka eyes bahut beautiful hai aisa devotees bolta hai and he gave the meaning of neeraj dal nayana but then there was another message for me specially he said neeraj ka meaning kya so i said swami uh, lotus aisa bolta hai swami said ha ah, neeraj means neera ja born in water lotus bhi ho sakta hai fish bhi ho sakta hai frog bhi ho sakta hai this is what swami said and it was very sort of a casual uh, remark but it had a it it had a big impact on me when i 
when i contemplated uh, as if it was swami was communicated that when you get a chance to be near bhagwan you choose whether you want to be like the lotus or you want to be like the frog which swami used to give the example very often in one of the sessions he told this to when all the boys were sitting next to him he said you boys you are like frog in a well you sit on the lotus flower but you don't know the value of that beautiful flower which is there indicating to bhagwan but devotees like honey bee come from far away sit on the flower take pluck take that choose that honey and go away if you remain like that frog you will lose the chance so tommy sort of indicated to me that it is your choice you want to be like that lotus be in the world but not off it till remain focused on bhagwan on his nectarine words or you be like the frog who goes around in the or the fish which goes around eating insects or whatever without knowing the value of the lotus so that was another learning that i got from that particular episode